All right, so tonight I'm going to be talking about 95 Senses. This was directed by Napoleon Dynamite's director, Jared Hess, and his wife, Joshua. It is about an old man reflecting on his life sort of through his senses. Uh, the old man is played by Tim Blake Nelson. Very well, by the way. Um, it kind of experiments with animation. You see it more of a sketchier, weirder kind of style. It goes between each uh, one. You hear him talk about like sight and sound uh, and smell and things like that. It kind of goes into his life and how his uh, senses affected his life and where he is now. Um, I don't really want to reveal anything and there is sort of a things to reveal if you watch it, um, which I think anyone in the chat who did can don't spoil it, but I think that reveal sort of central to the enjoyment of the piece. But I do think it like Jared Harris, who most people know as the director of Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre and stuff like that, this feels very different for him, much more versatility than I expected from him. And this is nominated for an Oscar, and this is his first Oscar nomination, but it um, really makes me think he can handle a lot of different uh, stuff than I ever thought he could. Um, kind of shows him very much as a storyteller, shows what he can do as a storyteller, shows um, how impactful he can be, but also like how you can take a simple premise, and I think this is one thing short films can do really well, like going through your senses and telling your life story and uh, make it like show the whole uh, image of a person and their lives. And I think Tim Blake Nelson brings that to it, but also makes it kind of a little like lighthearted in a sense, but also kind of folksy and down home and like the possibilities of life and what it sees from that and everything like that. Um, it just shows where you could end up with your senses and things like that. It's a very excellent short. I was really surprised, but I mainly just saw it because I could see it and I saw Jared uh, Hess had done it and I was extra curious how they could get an Oscar nomination and uh, I thought it was a really fantastic piece of animation and I, I it's one I've watched a few times because I enjoy it very much and I think um, if you get to watch it I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and if you're in a Napoleon Diamond and you're like I don't want to watch anything too heavy or anything um, don't worry I think it rides that line well enough that you will be happy with it but it's not even though I'm and bring up the Napoleon Dynamite thing. Um, there's not as much of a connection to that, um, but it does feel like someone who's aching to be a storyteller and more than we've really seen from him and his wife. And I'm extremely curious uh, what the aftermath of this short film will be, or maybe it's just a weird one-off, but what an interesting one-off of a short film it is.